Welcome to Serenity Productions. We had to portal a little farther away because I don't want the Techromancy team tracking us. Besides, it's just a few blocks down. You have two legs. It's a nice day. There's nothing wrong with getting some fresh air in your body. Seriously, this again? Listen, I get it. You have super strength and speed and can turn into a giant wolf monster. I know how werewolves work, okay? But I don't think I need to remind you that you had your ass handed to you by a wraith. And one that wasn't even in a hybrid body. So humor me on this one, okay? I know you don't like to be reminded of that. But I feel like I have to every once in a while. These aren't normal hybrids or anything, they're race. Hellion, apparently even Tess's Wendigo friend had a few problems with them, and they're a Wendigo. Well, thank the gods you've never seen a wild Wendigo in action. Listen, I have to get my knives checked out anyway. So if you don't want to get anything, just think of this as the most awkward couple date I've ever taken you on. That one good? Wonderful. Well, he's been a family friend for years now. He's the best weapon smith I know and the only one I trust not to fuck up my knives. He owes me a few favors, so I know if I go to him, Ward won't get around about what we're doing. Yes, you can, actually. There's a way to sharpen them and a balance for me that needs to be kept, and I love these knives almost as much as I love you. So, I only take them to the best. And I'm not about to bring dull knives into a fight. Not to mention, the silver on the edges could use a little touching it up. Yes, there's a reason why I told you not to touch them. Big Bad, you've met my dad. Do you really need to ask why I have silver dipped edges on my blades? There you go. So glad you remembered. <laughs> hmm. Why don't you go look around while I deal with Marco? He needs a bit of a special touch to handle him. No, don't worry. I can handle him just fine. <laughs> ah, if it isn't my favorite customer. Well, <laughs> my ex favorite customer as you just really don't come into my shop anymore hey marco long time no see oh she even remembers my name i thought you might have forgotten all about little old me when you joined that department of yours come on marco how could i ever forget someone as charming as you charming you say i'm very good with your hands flattery won't work this time eve I'm still mad at you. A true artist with every weapon he touches. Michelangelo at his craft. Aw, shucks, Eve. You know I can't stay mad at you. I know, Marco. That's why you're my favorite. These need a touch-up. And I need them done in the next couple of weeks. Oh, hello, beauty. I haven't had the privilege of working on you in a long time. Huh, I thought you didn't hunt anymore. Why do you need these lovely works of art fixed up? My father was asking about them, and I couldn't bear to show him them in their current state. So I was wondering if you could help save me from an argument with him. Fair enough. It'll cost you, though. My silver supply has been very limited with what I have been able to get from Ethereal, and I can only get so much from mundane suppliers. Name the price and I can pay it. Ooh, that's what I love to hear. Is there anything else I can be helping you with today? Yes. 
all of this. Ah, what is this here? I see armor, Eve. Now, I know your dad is particular about your knives, but your armor? I know he doesn't really care about that all too much. What's really going on here? A personal affair, Sasha and I need to get sorted. And we might be running into a little bit of trouble. I would very much appreciate it, though, if you kept this on the down low. Don't need everyone knowing about my personal affairs. Secrecy costs extra, girly. You still owe me, Marco. I was hoping I could call in one of those favors. This is at least two favors paid, Eve. Done. I also need a set for two more people. The measurements and ruins are listed here. I need it done by end of week. For the rush order, I'll pay coin. Very well. I better get started on that then. Good. We'll be looking for a couple of weapons too. Those will also be paid in coin. Fair enough. Everything in the store is freshly stoned and sharpened. Custom orders take time. So if there's something that you need done quickly, I suggest you tell me about it before you leave. We will. Thank you. Yeah, Marco has one of the best selection of weapons and armor. Honestly, his has never broken on me. And his armor has saved my life more than once on a mission. Uh, don't tell him that, though. The compliment will go straight to his head and he'll charge us more for it. <laughs> so, see anything you like? Again, humor me. Sometimes having a couple of good weapons on you can be the difference between life and death. For example, a Wiccan puts a curse on you that renders you absolutely powerless. You can't shift, you can't use your powers, nada. What are you gonna do? Ah, I never thought of that scenario, huh? Ah, see, this is why having weapons are a good thing. Even if you have claws. We can get you a pair of knives if you want. Be matching that way. <laughs> That could be our own form of cute. <laughs> Axes are good as long as they're weighted right. Same with hammers. You could always do a broadsword. Should be easy to handle for someone like you. Yeah, guns are a thing. But in the ethereal, the guns are different. And the bullets won't fit ours, which is why we have to bring as much ammo with us as possible. I'll probably pick up a more ethereal style gun once we cross over. The ethereal does things different. Never really been myself, but I've seen through portals on meetings. And also Mel has sent me a postcard once or twice when she had to go back for something. Apparently, according to her, it's steampunk meets fantasy. <laughs> a cipher could probably give you a better description of what life is like there. Her mom is based out of there and doesn't frequent too much in the mundane like her dad does. So back to the weapons. They're all etched with ruins. Which means they'll work on pretty much everything and everyone. Yeah, uh, runes like the ones that we have in our body, but, uh, different. Hmm. Hmm? Uh, sorry, I was just thinking about something. <laughs> yeah, uh... Honestly, I haven't been able to stop thinking about that night. About what Medea said. Yeah, the, uh, the thing about the ruins. Though I'm not the only one with a strong soul. Uh, sure, I 
think I hold the record for the most ruins on my body without soul fracturing, but... Honestly, I didn't think it was that important. Just kept thinking I was getting lucky. Luck seems to be something I both have shitty luck and good luck all at the same time. I'm wondering if the gods have it out for me or something. <laughs> like I'm paying back a karma I don't think I accumulated. Maybe it's just putting all my family's past sins on me. Or maybe I'm just looking too far into this. <laughs> Whatever the case, I can't wait to get a proper rematch. And when we do, I'm going to be ready this time. We'll both be ready. Those guys. I don't think I've ever seen anyone take up dual axes before. No, they, uh, they look good on you. I think you should get them. Honestly, they kind of make you look hot. <laughs> well, the faster you finish picking something out, the faster we can go home and focus on something that isn't as serious. I'm taking my aunt's advice. Enjoy the quiet while we can. Because I don't know when's the next time we'll have a moment alone together again. I'm gonna pick up a few supplies we need. Take your time, but like I said, I really do like the double axes. And I know someone that could give you a quick training session. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know them too, and they go by fangs. 